Bionics, waking up in the future. The evolution in technology has gifted us with many different things. Transport has been revolutionized with insanely fast trains and the face of industries are transforming with the introduction of a robotic workforce. But at the end of the day, the real question that we all have is, can technology save us from that one thing that we fear the most? Death. Death is something that is inevitable and we are always looking for ways to avoid it altogether or to live even longer. Does technology have the power to bring us back to life? Well, join us in today's video as we explore the answer to this question with a very special process in tech that is known as cryonics. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are going to take a deep dive into the world of cryonics, a unique and revolutionary process in technology that is working on preserving and reviving people after their death. Sounds like an idea out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Well, despite how unreal it sounds, the reality is that this technology is being developed and we might soon be able to enter into the world of cryogenics ourselves and wake up sometime in the future. But before we begin, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you won't miss any of the videos you love each week. Now, before we go into the technicalities of cryonics, let's understand the main idea behind it. Experts and scientists compare it to CPR and say that in the same way CPR can revive the heart, cryonics may be able to someday revive a dead body. The way scientists are able to achieve this is by cooling down the human body to low freezing temperatures and beginning the process to preserve the body right after death. In order to make that possible, the dead body is put in an ice bath as soon as possible. That means it has to be done right after the heart stops. Scientists have to act quickly in order to ensure that cells and organs remain viable before the process begins. The blood is then drained from the person and the body is injected with a special kind of fluid that preserves the organs and prevents them and other parts of the body as well from freezing altogether or to keep it as minimally frozen as possible. This helps prevent any damage from happening to things like blood vessels and veins. Packed in layers of ice, the body is then transported to a cryogenic facility where the next few steps can take place. Over at the facility, the body is further cooled down using liquid nitrogen. Can you guess the temperature of the body at this point in the process? Well, it's minus 110 degrees Celsius. That's minus 166 degrees in Fahrenheit. But it doesn't stop there. Over the next couple of days in the process, the temperature continues decreasing until it reaches 196 degrees Celsius. Then, the body is suspended into a tank of nitrogen and is abandoned until the day it can hopefully be revived. Cryogenics is something that has taken its time in development, so there is not much institutions can do other than recruit new members to join the cryonics process and make sure the body is kept safe in the meantime as technology in this field advances. The problem with this is that we don't have the necessary technology needed to revive the people who choose cryonics just yet. Many scientists doubt that this technology can ever be created. However, cryogenics was introduced with the hopes that one day technology will reach new limits and manage to come up with a solution that will bring the body back to life without damaging the brain. Many hope that by the time this is possible, there will be cures to the diseases that may have caused their deaths. When is that going to happen? No one really knows. Some have estimates that it might be possible in the next 10 years, but that's just a random number and there isn't much data to support this claim. Others say that it might take up to 100 years, and that time frame seems more believable and attainable. The first person to have their body frozen using cryonics was James Hiram Bedford. He was a psychology professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and died of renal cancer in 1967. That means that the first ever cryonics procedure took place 54 years ago. Since then, there have been a rapid increase in people who have started to embrace cryonics technology. People have high hopes for the future, especially considering that now we have special cryonic institutes actively encouraging people to have their dead bodies frozen. One of these institutes is the Cryonics Institute, located in Clinton Township, Michigan, USA. The institute is in fact a storage facility for those who choose to have their bodies frozen and it promises complete security. However, their aim is not only to store these bodies, but also to spread awareness about this fascinating technology. According to the Institute's website, 
members are afforded the opportunity to be preserved at cryonic temperatures in hopes that future medical technology may be able to someday revive and restore them to full health. Currently, the company has about 300 or more people frozen in its facility and thousands more have already signed up. One of the mottos of the Institute is that life is priceless. However, that's kind of paradoxical considering they charge about $25,000 to $35,000 for the storage of one body. And that's not a small amount, is it? Prices around the US vary and you can expect to pay $150,000 to be able to proceed with the process of cryonics. What do you all think? Obviously, the technology is expensive, but do you think the gamble is worth it? Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. The Cryonic Institute claims to have support from the Christian community. However, many people still have their own reservations. They argue that death is a natural and necessary phase in the cycle of life and that nobody should be disturbing that sacred process. This is just the ethical aspect of it. The practical aspect has even more arguments against the process of cryonics. Some ask, what happens if these storage facilities go bankrupt? What will happen to these frozen bodies? Don't they have a financial and moral duty to them? What's the backup plan? Well, it seems that nobody has any certain answers to these questions just yet. This might deter people from even considering the option of cryogenics. On top of that, since this technology is still under construction, nobody really knows if there will be any side effects of such crazy technology. We don't know if a person's brain function will be restored to complete efficiency, and we also don't know if the person will have all their memories when they are revived. For all we know, they might not even be the same person after they come back to life. Sounds like a creepy TV episode, don't you think? There are endless possibilities and questions to the topic of cryonics. While there are many plus sides to cryogenic technology, things are far too vague for us to embrace it fully in today's world. There are still so many things left unanswered, and we begin to ask ourselves, how can we trust a process like this? If you had a couple thousand dollars lying around, would you sign up for it? Tell us why or why not in the comments below. Be sure to stay and watch the next video on our playlist. We're sure you'll love it.